30 degrees for the rest of the evening. The winds will gradually begin to decrease as well, so that should help take the edge off the wind chill. 18 tonight in Maryville, 20 in Trenton, 21 in Chillicothe, and 24 in Belton. Again, the southerly breeze keeping the moisture locked in. In fact, low level moisture increasing throughout the day tomorrow. We could even see drizzle as early as lunchtime. Albany at 31, Cameron, 35 degrees. Mid 30s common from Lawrence to KCK, Kansas City, and Concordia, and close to 40 for our southern communities Clinton, Butler, Paola. And Mound City. This is Sunday night and Monday morning. Notice we're on the far northwestern periphery of those winter weather advisories. So from Lawrence to St. Joe to Trenton, these are the areas and south that could see a very light glaze of ice or a transition to very light snow Sunday night up around Chillicothe, with the impacts being felt Monday morning in the form of black ice here in Kansas City because we will get some rain on Sunday. Temperatures fall below freezing overnight, and that's when we could see that liquid freeze and become black ice on some of the roadways for Monday morning. And again, a dusting of snow possible north of Kansas City around Chillicothe, Trenton, possibly St. Joe by Monday morning. Key words here are light and dusting, not a storm. 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, 23 degrees, a mostly cloudy sky, lunchtime 32. We're above freezing, that's important because I think we could see drizzle as early as lunchtime with rain developing by 5 o'clock, 36 degrees, just pockets. It won't be a deluge, just a few rain showers tomorrow afternoon and evening. Here comes the next bout of Arctic air on Monday and Tuesday. We're sick of hearing about it. How about that warm up that we've been promising? For several days now, yeah. way out there next weekend, we will be in the mid 40s, and that will feel like a heat wave compared to where we've been.